Now this is a very short video just to bring some people up to speed on colour printing and the typical question is why is my printer not printing colours the way I see them? Are some printers RGB and some CMYK? Well no, there are no RGB printers. The typical statement I'm currently extremely frustrated with printing services online that convert files to CMYK for their prints such as banners, business cards and special prints such as holographic prints. Well I won't read this through word by word because I'm sure you can read it yourself. Just pause the screen and have a good read. Mind you I will add a bit from time to time. If all printers print in CMYK, how can I adjust my images at home so that what I get from third party printers is as good as my home prints? The CMY colour space is horribly limited and no amount of adjustment layers will make it look as vibrant as the RGB file, yet my printer can print the RGB file perfectly. That's because they're using a special printer. Now, computers' screens are digital. In fact, there are no RGB printers. You either have a printer with CMYK, have a look inside, there's four colours. Cyan, magenta, yellow and black inks or a printer, typically higher end inkjet devices, you get what you pay for, that has additional colourance, often either orange and green or light cyan, light magenta and grey to allow gamut expansion when converting from RGB colours. You're still converting. On the home computer, whether Mac or Windows, unless your printer is either a postscript or a direct PDF printing device, the print drivers use an RGB printing model. And this has some interesting ramifications. If you print from Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader to a Postscript printer, you'll get colorimetrically correct RGB to CMYK conversions that often seem dull compared to the colors you see on screen. And how often do we hear this complaint? The colors I'm printing look nothing like the on-screen colors. Why is this? If you have a typically low-end home color printer, whether toner or inkjet based, there are still only CMYK inks, four inks. Depending on the print driver's settings, many print drivers will not do a simple ICC profile based RGB to CMYK conversion, but rather use secret source techniques, really up to the printer manufacturers, to try to punch up the colors, especially what one may describe as office colours. But my printer is a Super Ajax Master Whizbang printer. Hmm, it's still CMYK. If your home colour printer is a photo printer with additional colourants, your printer driver is likely taking advantage of those additional colorants when converting from RGB to CMYK, plus the additional colorants to expand the gamut and give your colors some pop. Commercial printing. In terms of what you do when you go co for commercial printing, there are a few issues. If you provide the commercial printer with a CMYK only PDF file, you're getting exactly what you should expect, even if the commercial printer has a device with additional colorants. You have already eliminated the possibility of expanded gamut by the conversions to CMYK. If you provide the commercial, commercial printer with a PDF slash X4 file, for example, and Affinity do do those. The RGB colorants, such as for images or RGB based vector items, are maintained in RGB with their profiles 
and the printer has devices with more than CMYK colorants, quite often the case for wide format banners, signs and specialty items, then you should not be seeing this problem, assuming the printer knows what you need. For business cards, for example, most printers will use a CMYK device, probably a printer that's little, not much different than the one you've got at home. If you have special needs, you need to advise your printer of such needs and expect to pay higher prices for printing on devices that have extra colorants. And finally, yes, <coughs> there are technologies that professional printers can use which use in more than four inks, but this is much more expensive. But by and large, yes, more than 90%, 99% of professional colour printing uses CMYK. Designers just have to know this and expect it. If you're designing anything you want to print out the way it looks on your screen, be aware that if you print it on anything, it will be CMYK or at best CMYK plus a little bit. Some of it looks really good, but as always you get what you pay for, so you're going to need a very good quality printer, good quality paper, and some patience because really fine colour printing usually takes a little while to print out. Now this text is borrowed from the community.adobe.com website and I've put it here because it needs to be more widely read. That's the end. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped.